welcome to Three Ply Podcast, episode eighty-one. Almost as old as uh, Betty White. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> um, just, just uh, wanted to welcome you in today. I am Angie. I'm Irene, and I'm Joyce, <laughs> and we are so happy you're here. We are going to start things off with the administrative portion. Go ahead. Absolutely. Please. All right. For uh, some excitement, the Queen. Sandy Bag winner this time is Joan DeLoffey. If you can send us an email, let us know where to send your lovely bag. And we want to thank Queen Sandy for always being prepared with bags for our podcast. So thank Yay. you for that. Thank you, Sandy. Thank you, Sandy. And now we need a question for the next Queen Sandy giveaway. So we had a little bit of discussion prior to starting this podcast. Angie, why don't you tell us what your daughter said? So my daughter does not like change. She can't stand it. Now she's 26, 28. Uh, anyway, she does not, she, yeah, man, she doesn't like change. So she said to me the other day, mom, I don't like your hair. Cut it. I like it back the way it was. And I'm like, but I kind of like it. I kind of like the whole, you know, that girl kind of thing. The, you know, Joyce calls it the Florence Henderson. I, I like kind of think it's more like Josie and the Pussycats and uh, the little headbands, all the fun stuff. And she said, nope, I don't like it. So should I cut my hair? That's the question. So okay. comment below. Let us know if you think uh, Angie should cut her hair and we'll choose a winner next podcast. Okay, go, uh, moving on to upcoming event. So we've been telling you about the Frivolous and Frugal uh, Three Ply Podcast mini meetup. That's on July 29 and 30th in Hoffman Estates, Illinois. If you can go to the Frivolous and Frugal uh, Ravelry page, they have all of the information there, hotel accommodations, what to do, the timing of things. There's going to be a little schedule, kind of, you know, not... Uh, not that anything written is written in stone, right? It's pretty easy peasy. Uh, no cost to attend. And we're just going to sit around, get to know each other better. Um, oh, and some podcasters are coming. Let me tell you who's coming. Uh, Nikki from Got Whips Podcast. James from Dude Knits Podcast. Penny from PJ Knits Podcast. And Noelle and Kelly from Knits and Pieces Podcast. And of course, our Queen Sandy is going to attend too. So if you'd like to meet all those people, you've got some homework to do and look up these podcasts, see if you like them. And you know, if you really are interested in them and you like what they've shown on their podcasts, subscribe. Podcasters love that. The numbers yep. go up. Thumbs up is important. The likes or whatever that is. And right, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know how it works. But, uh, just stuff. hit all the buttons, just <laughs> not the dislike, okay? Because if you don't like it, just move on. Move on. All and right. one more thing. It, you're, it's, um, there's not a, what am I I'm trying to say? You don't have to come and spend the night. If you're in the neighborhood, just come by. Just come by. Oh, sit right. with us. Come sit and knit with us. And, you know, if you can only stay till, you know, three o'clock, well, then that's your time. Right. But if you're in the neighborhood, come by and see us. I think it's yeah. very oh, easy right. because, again, there's no structure uh, or uh, attendance cost or anything. So come, you know, meet all of us, sit around and go home. It's right. very yep. easy. And Elgin Networks is really close. Uh, we could get. Oh, we're going to be doing tours. Yeah, we'll do. No, we'll take do, you. Uh, yeah. we'll, we can caravan. Uh, caravan over. So yeah. it's going to be fun. Last year was fun. Yeah. This year will be even better if that's even possible. So thank you to the frivolous and frugal gals for uh, eagerly doing this again and including us. And hey, it's it's all good. Thank you, Dawn and Penny. Thank you. We love you. Oh. Thumbs up. <laughs> All right. So moving on. I guess to dream knitting, Angie. Is that where we're going? Yep, next is dream knitting. Okay. So um, you want to go first? Sure. Okay. Are you looking at me? I am looking at you. You looking at me? 
I'm looking at you, kid. <laughs> okay, I'll go then. All right, you know what I was thinking? Um, years ago, they had popular sweaters that were called like Gansey or Guernsey sweaters that fishermen kind of wore. Sometimes you'd put an initial on the lower part of the uh, sweater. These are making a comeback. So uh, I, I'll insert a picture. I don't have one right here, so I'll insert it. There's the Ingrid sweater from Petite Knit that I thought was kind of cool. And then Summer Knuss by Elsbeth Judith. So I'll put those pictures up there. And I thought, oh, how cool that would be. And I was looking at them. You know what they reminded me of was the row by row sampler sacks that uh, Joyce and I put together. And I thought, wouldn't that be cool if you could do one of those sweaters and then do the sock and ha have an ensemble. And yeah. to take it a step further, which I'm not sure would be easy, but you could switch up the uh, design and maybe match the sock design into the sweater once you did one of their sweaters, like switch it, you know, again, getting creative, but that's okay. Crazy. I'm just going to say, if you're going to make the sweater and the socks, please wear pants. <laughs> okay. It's just because you want to show off your socks and your sweater doesn't mean you can go without pants. All right, I'll do that. Okay. That and she brings too, up maybe. a good point. Yeah. <laughs> All right, okay. that's my dream knitting. All right, so I have two. Um, yesterday I got an email from Pearl Soho. Isn't that? Can you see that? I don't yeah. know if you love uh, it's called the Terrace Wrap, and they made it with silk. And Ooh. oh my God, it's, and they have a little, I mean, it's a free pattern and they have a little um, video that shows you how to do the stitch and it's super easy. And I'm thinking I want to do that. And then the other thing is um, Elgin Networks um, in July, they're going to have a knit along um, for a sweater called G-I-O-I-A, G-O-R, I don't know, G-I-O-I-A by uh, Asia Buschetta. Uh, last name is B-U-C-H-T-A. Um, and it's a, it's a color work sweater. I don't know if you can see it, but there it is. Oh, pretty. Oh, that's cute. It's super simple. You know, so if you've never done color work before and you want to try, this is a good way to do it. And um, I'm going to do it. I picked up my yarn yesterday. Um, of course, I'm going to do bright yellow. <laughs> so, no. Um, yeah, I know, right? So um, anyway, a lot of people are picking out their yarn. Uh, Betsy has lots of ideas. So give her a call if you're interested. Um, some people are starting right now, but the knit along is going to be- Tell me along. about that color. Is it individual minis or something or- No, it's a, it's a, um, it's a color change. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Very nice. So it's easy. a color change yarn. Um, you could use, I mean, you could really use anything because the base of the sweater is a solid color. And- um, it, 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 it's super cute. And um, I'm going to do mine in kind of a silk cotton. It's a Barocco pattern. Um, and uh, it's $8 on Ravelry. Um, but yeah, there's some really cute ones. And she she had people in. Yeah, I stopped in yesterday because I got off work early. And she had people coming in just like picking out their yarn. And I was like, oh, I like that color. Oh, I like that color. So it doesn't take much, Angie, to get you going. <laughs> I got the fever, honey. I'm oh, telling you. Oh, my God. We so just bad. can't get off that boat. All it's right. Oh, so bad. Okay. Um, so that's my dream knitting. Okay. Now, how my about God. you, Joyce? I've got a couple. Actually, I've got a few. Um. One I want to do is the, the Stone Crop Cardi by Andrew Mowry. Oh, yeah. Which I love. Love that. And a couple other ones I found. Um, let's see. This one is called, actually, Yoki, I'm going to say. I think that's so cute. The pattern on that is so cute. It's probably, oh, it's yeah. blowing out a little bit. I'll put a picture up. But that's so cute. I'll send you these. Okay. And then one more, and it's called Abbey Hill by Yasolda T. And this one is also cute. And I love the color. Not my color, but I love the color. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, and it's got that little cables down at the waist. Really cute. And that's my dream knitting. Yay! Yeah, love those. Dare to dream, ladies. Dare to dream. <laughs> 
All right, so what are we moving on to next? I've got to look because I changed my picture so I could show you the cute little thing. Okay, now we are moving on to what are you wearing? Today I am wearing clothes, which is a good thing. <laughs> I have nothing knit on because I'm, I just, it's too hot. Is it really? I feel kind of chilly. I just, it's chilly here. I don't know. What are you, in Florida? Where are I, you? I had something on, but then I took it off. Okay. It's my moho. Oh, oh yeah. I love that pattern. Who doesn't love the moho? Yeah. For salad. Oh, and I always think of that koi goo yarn would go so well with that. I know, but you know, yeah. Betsy has so many colors. It's really hard to pick. I'm like, okay, I know. I'll do this. Close your eyes and stick your finger on one. Oh. Her person was with me and she couldn't pick either. I'm like, okay, we'll just wait till next time. Maybe yeah, when there is fewer to choose from. Right, exactly. I love koi goo. I just love it. The stitches, the, oh, it's amazing. It's what about fun. you, I, uh, Joyce? What are you wearing? I mean, Irene. Oh, my name's Irene. <laughs> <laughs> I am wearing the Corinna shawl. I, that is by Yala Spiro. And the yarn is um, 100 Acre, 100, acre, 100 Ravens, uh, the Tulip Minis. They came oh, prepackaged. Yeah, the color is so, it's very summery, spring, beautiful. Love. Very watermelon ish. Like a watermelon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You could throw some black buttons on there and it would be like a real watermelon. <laughs> Maybe I should eat some watermelon, spit some seeds from. Yeah, could do that too. Or hot glue them. I don't know. No, no, I like it just the way it is. Let's not deviate now. Okay. All right. All right. And um, of course, I said I'm wearing clothes, so we're good. Um, what did you finish? Irene, did you All right. anything? you're probably the only well, one. Let me tell you, I had that beautiful yarn from Guy, uh, Gage Dye Works, the rainbow. It's called Color Wheel, but I did oh, one of the cute. Pearl. So cute. I mean, the colors, the colors, the colors. Woo! Oh my gosh. So, you know, I have to tell you, I think I feel now that I almost have to have this on the needles all the time. Something, this muscle burrow is just, it, it's just such a good social knitting hat. And then, I might have you know, to get that yarn. I really like that. So uh, I believe it's Canadian. Yeah, it's really, they've got some other, you know, versions of it too. So, but their um, dye uh, process was just so good. It just works so well for the hat. Awesome. Love, gosh, love, love. love it. And then um, you'll be happy to know I finished the outline. You did. Jessic. It's 64 inches. I measured it this morning. So whoop. I love that pattern. Whoop. It turned out really nice. Whoop. So yeah, very happy. I'll just have it uh, over a chair and have it ready to wrap around me if it's chilly. So another one that would be great for koi goo, uh, or minis this? or yeah. Oh. You know, this worked well to get rid of some stash, to be honest yeah. with you. And what well, way, and yeah. I, you know, you can see I did uh, break into the coral and I'm happy I did, you know, it's stop beautiful. being an idiot. Start, you know, just keep going. <laughs> so you what, um, yarn. what way yarn? Fingering. Okay. Yeah. I suppose you could do it with anything. Though. You could do it with anything. But yeah, that's, I mean, there's so many colors in that koi goo. In fact, I think that's where I originally saw that pattern. Oh, oh okay. Mm -hmm. And then um, you girls know, uh, I was doing the wallaby and I was stuck on Sleeve Island. Uh, Corey from um, I Rock Knits commented and she said, because I couldn't like get off of Sleep Island or, or continue, she said something like, uh, just pretend they're socks. And so <laughs> I did, it, and I finished it. I gave it to my granddaughter. So now I have three done. I'll insert a picture that I put up on Instagram. Uh, happy so customers, good. happy girls. They got a rainbow purse to match and uh, they're all happy. So, so cute. Yeah. So that's it. So um, Joyce, did you finish anything? 
Uh, no, I I have a little bit of an injury, so limiting uh, my knitting was limited. So no. I did finish a bunch of those little Izzy dolls. Um, yeah. So our I'm I'm moving to a new school um, in the fall. They're building a brand new school, and I'm going to be the head secretary opening the new building. And our mascot is a badger. So <laughs> I used. Um, the Izzy doll patterns, I believe it's the Forest Friends. Um, there's a badger with duplicate stitch on the face and I made um, several of them and sent them to the principal. So I don't have them. Um, I have one that's in progress. Oh. <laughs> a little... Cute. And of course, school colors. And I will give Irene a picture to insert Good. But um, they did turn out super cute. Um, there he is. Da, 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 da. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, he turned out. Oh, really cool. The little face is duplicate stitch, which I found a little futzy. But um, I'm going to, on this one, I'm going to try adding a little mohair to kind of cover up the white yeah. and see how that goes. Oh, I bet they just love you. <laughs> oh, they adore them. They think they're, you know, yeah. It's very cool. Know. So it's super cool. Okay. Cute. Ready? All right. Yep. Um, all right, everybody. We're going to talk about the blast from the past. <laughs> Our favorite knitting projects from the past. Um, we will let Irene start. What do you have? Well, uh, about a hundred years ago, probably at the beginning of my knitting uh, career, um, I made the little uh, the little tourist poncho by Jenny Lansing, and I'll insert a picture of it. But oh, yeah. This is what it was with the little the cables running down the front. Uh, it was such a big hit, and my granddaughter at the time was so cute in it. Uh, and then she has since passed it down to the other two. Um, the yarn I used was Fiora. I forgot all about that, um, but that was. I remember nice... wanting a bigger size of that sweater because it was. So yep. cute. <laughs> well, you probably could have used the one that was for a regular kid, and yep. it would fit you. Yeah, because Joyce is so tiny. You'd look so good in that. <laughs> anyway, so that was my uh, last from the past that I really liked. And then uh, the other thing that I always love is the S. John by um, Stephen King. Steve, why do I do that? Why do I do that? You know what? What mental thing is missing here? That okay? Were you so watching scary that. movies last night? I know. I don't even read his books anymore. I don't know where this comes from. Talk about blasts from the past. Christine! Stephen King. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't say his name. Stephen, if you're watching. <laughs> I don't know what to do with myself. Dawn is laughing at you too. <laughs> <laughs> So Steven, that other guy. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. And uh, I made another one uh, after I made this one. And this was the blue version. Oh, yeah. The All important right. thing to know is to make sure you get the right yarn. Um, this bottom part, not so important. You could do Rios or Madeline Tosh. But this up here, you've got to use the uh, Cascade Echo Duo. 
that was zebra with the first one. I think this might have been chicory or something. That lends a real nice mohair -y kind of soft feel that has a beautiful drape. So that would be my recommendation if you go down that road. But yeah, those are my two. All right, Joyce? I have a few, and but my all-time favorite is Sam the Ram. I would agree. And her by Rita O'Connell. And you can find the pattern on Ravelry. Oh, he's so handsome. No, he's one of my favorites. Um, and then um, the first pair of um, color work mittens I made for Carson, remember the ones that said pow and bam? Yep. I can't find them, so I'm, she probably has them. But I have a couple more, and these were called um, Till Death by Stephanie Lotvin, Telly Bean Knits. And these were so much fun to do. And they got the little, I put the little beads on them. Can you see? So oh, cute. really cute. And then uh, the other Halloween-ish ones was called Night Creature. Oh, I love them. Yes. These are really small though. Now, did oh. you have to knit those and then sew them up? Like you knit no, them? Around. They're in the ground. They're in the ground. And then I think this was my second pair. And this was when I think Rachel from Treehouse Knits was having her, her and Earth, Denise from Earth Tones Girl were having a knit along. No, that's not true. The Bam and the Pal ones. And I do remember these were made with uh, Legacy Fiber Arts, which I loved. Oh. Hey, I can do those now. Woohoo! Yeah, and they're, they're so much fun. They're so much fun. And what that's gift. that's my favorites. All right. All right. Mine, of course, the old standby, which I love. Turn it the right way here. Silver leaf. Oh. Oh, yes. And most people made this in a solid color. Right. But I just thought it was so cute with this. And I actually made a second one that was black and pink. Black and pink, which was yeah. adorable. Which is why I bought the yarn and I still have yet to make it. Yeah, so if you are in a knitting rut and you wanna make something fun, this is a great pattern, highly recommended. And then the other one, when I grabbed that out of the closet, I found this one and I remember how much I love it, but I can't remember the name of it. Maybe Irene will. Oh, yeah. Little Owls, is it Hogwarts? Is it, I can't remember the name of it, but I love this thing. Yeah. We'll find it. And then it has the um, it has the little beads for the eyes. I don't know if you can mm -hmm. see that. That is really cool. I, I love this. I made mine after I saw yours and Betsy. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, I did too. Yeah, <laughs> it, it's just one of my favorites. I don't know. I saw it and I was like, oh my god! I totally forgot how much I love this pet. And I made better. mine out of. Um, I don't. I'm sure you can still uh, kosabi, kobasi, kobasi, um, sueno. Kobasi, and it's a, like a stretchy kind of sock yarn. Oh, well, I'll try to find it while we okay. move on to the next, which is your favorite topic, Irene, no bare feet. <laughs> okay, so um, Knits and Pieces has a Tuesday night knit chat. And again, I'll emphasize that Tuesday is usually a bad night, but uh, the last couple of Tuesdays, uh, even this past one, I had the notification come up on my phone. I was like, oh, okay, I can do it. So I ran and, and signed up uh, to see what they were talking about or chatting. And uh, a number of people were doing the uh, Get Shorty ribbed sock. And I thought, well, that's my pattern. I should be doing it. So uh, I started one. Cute. I'm just using scraps. So I had like self-striping yarn. Uh, I used that up and then I embellished, you know, to get some more mileage out of it. So I've got one done and then um, I started the second one and I'll save that for the next knit chat night. So that was one thing. Cool. Um, oh, I did this uh, again. I've done a previous pair, but this time I put the strong heel into this pair um, and that's in my uh, Get Shorty designs. Just Here. went off a little like different colors on the heel. I like. I thought I embellished a little bit with the red and uh, a pear. 
I'll start uh, Christmas uh, gifts. And um, oh, this was special yarn, Roar Spots and Wall Mice yarn. And I made this pair. Gosh, this stuff's fantastic. Cute. Where do you buy it? I could only find it on eBay. So if anyone knows where to buy this yarn, maybe it's just Germany. I don't know. So there's got to be a source in the United States, you'd think. But it was lovely. It seems hardy, and it's got a nice texture to it. So uh, A plus on this. A plus. Then um, let's see. Oh, and then just scrappy socks that I just kind of finished. <laughs> yeah nothing special just just a sign yeah that's all i've got for no bare feet i guess well joy yeah we well, have a pair that i've been working on these are the uh i think petty harbor i think it's called petty harbor yeah petty harbor so i made progress but um i can't really know them that lot now But they're cute. Got a little sparkle in them. Oh, they are cute. Ooh. I love me some. You're sparkle. coming along, coming along. Yeah. I love I like the heel color. Good yep. choice. Yeah, that, yeah. I still have tons of that left. Good for girls. And that is all the sock knitting I have. Okay. All right. So we are going to move on to what are you knitting? And uh, you want to go ahead and start, Irene? Well, after the wallabies were done, I went back to my uh, home office sweater by Hintemstein. Did I say that right? I don't know. <laughs> Erica from Elgin Networks customer, she'll tell me. Um, I'm getting caught up here. So I've done the body. And you're supposed to leave this on um, a cord. I'll, I'll put one of those barber cords in here. And then uh, what will happen, this actually has such a nice, almost like a seed stitch bottom. You can't tell in this dark color. Um, but then I get to the fun part. I have to add the um, button bands now. And I'm going to use this cream color with this, and it'll give a real nice design. So some fun stuff coming down the pike here with that. Cool. Uh, and then um, I think I wore this on the last episode, Knit Night. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I bought some dyer full and stitched together yarn. And I've already started another one. So this is how it rolls. And then what happens is you put the pop of blue. It's a blue band that's going to go in here. So that's exciting for me. It, this goes so fast and it's easy. Love, love, love. So I'll try to slow down on that and resume with other projects. And then of course, another muscle burp. I gotta make that just because you love it so much. Me too. Listen, it's good like car knitting, no thinking involved. Once you pass all the increases at the top, it's just knit, knit, knit. And then I finally found a good um, needle. I think it's Haya Haya, but it's a 16 inch. It fits perfectly. And I'm getting a good, um, what's the word? Um, my stitches are, the definition of the stitches is good. Whereas before I was getting like maybe slanted too much or I was uh, kind of pulling on them too much. And now, now this is going well. So I think the problem was the needles. I was using my chow goose and these are um, a fixed needle with the... And what what yarn weight and what size needle? Uh, this is fingering, but you can do any kind of, uh, you could use DK. Oh. So I'm using a size three needle with fingering. So cute. And it's doing what I want it to do. What so. yarn is that? Uh, this was gifted yarn, something misses somebody, it's discontinued, so it doesn't matter, but it has flecks of like Green Bay Packers sure colors in there, so. I need to, you need to send me the uh, link for that uh, darling uh, stripe that you used on the first one, I love oh, that. Oh, okay, the dye, uh, gauge dye works, okay. Yeah, it's darling. 
darling. Uh, get to you. Okay. All right. Oh, and let me know if you're ordering because maybe I would get another skein and. Uh, uh, I for sure will order. Yeah. Okay. Sure. okay. <laughs> I'll be included in that, please. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so is that all you're working on there? Yep. Okay. And Joyce, it's your turn. Uh, I have a couple of things. Um, I'm still working on the Charles V-neck sweater by Hohe with uh, it's Ultra Alpaca Barocco, and I think it's called T Wars of the Color. So Carson has officially decided she wants it. Oh, yeah. It's pretty cool. So, it. It's dark. Um, but I thought as I was knitting it, this is the part that I ripped out. Um, I thought she might like it in a crop. As you know, that seems to be the style for the kids now. So I've asked her to call me with, I said, just measure something you have in your closet that you, you know, that fits you the way you like it and give me the measurement. Well, it's been a week and I've yet to hear from her. So <laughs> I think you need to send a reminder text. I'm on hold for that. But I do like that one. And I um I still want to make another one for myself. And then before she went away to school, she was working on a vest and she brought it back and um, hadn't had that much done on it. And it is called the number five vest. Uh, the picture I have is a black and white. So I'm not sure how well you can see it. And it's done on size 15 needle. Oh, that's so cute. And, but you know, um, for me, that's like something that she wouldn't like. But to me, it seems kind of retro. So I'm the vests are in now. Yeah, yeah so big time. This particular style, I was just shocked that she actually liked. So I am, I have been working on that for her. So now I'm just, oh, on, so the, just on the body. I like it. I yeah. do too. I, I like, like the color. color. Yeah, and this is out of the uh, Cascade Echo wool, and it's I, it's carry double. So this oh, one's very fast, fast, very fast. I might make one of those for me in some like really bright color. You know, um, it's what is the name of the company? What is called My Favorite Things Knitwear. Lots of cute patterns on Ravelry from her. I know she's got one particular turtleneck that I think is really cute. And then um, I wanted something just kind of simple and easy to knit on. And I, Irene had made this before and one of the other ladies, Lori, I think she'd made a couple of them. This is called the Two Point Cow by hey. Church Mouse. I have that on the needles. Oh my gosh, I love this. And the color, this is Dos Terra. Dos Tierros, how do you say that? Dos Tierros. By Malabrico. So that's as far as I've gotten. The color, oh. Yeah, yeah. The color is very pretty. It's got a little bit of a sheen to it. Beautiful. That's so pretty. I have that, and let's see, what else do I have? One more thing, I think. Like I said, I haven't, I haven't really been able to knit, so all of these are in, nope. Okay, I like, that's all I got. <laughs> okay, so I have, got this thing going, which I think I've showed before, maybe not. Um, this is the uh, Esther, oh and I finished God. the bottom, so and I'm on the sleeves, but I think it's too short. So I'm gonna do the sleeves, rip out the bottom, and use whatever I have left to make it just a little longer. Yeah. Um, so I'll that, and then um, the little badgers that I was telling you about, which is the Forest Friends, the Izzy Dolls, um, and then this, so this is Katie Oates Lovebirds sweater. Yeah, it's so cute. Okay, except for I'm doing mine in just two colors. So it's going to be yellow <laughs> and aqua. Again, we'll not miss you in a crowd. No, this is the plan. I don't want to get lost. If I'm lost, you'll know it's me. So that's no. that is what I'm working on um, as far as knitting. So the know. um the one you're gonna take out on the bottom, the Esther. 
Mm -hmm. Learn that with the, the Charles V neck to not finish the bottom. Yeah. That's that hard. Was... Until you get your collar on, until you get the sleeves on. Yeah. It changes the whole, it changes the whole length. Right. Right. So that's why uh, when I'm finished off, but I do want to say one thing about this Esther sweater. I love this pattern. Okay. Almost as much as I love springboard. Um, but this one, when you do the bind off, so you do knit one purl one for the ribbing at the bottom. When you do the bind off, you turn it inside out and go back. So it leaves this kind of little roll, not rolled, but like it's a purl stitch basically at the bottom. It looks so pretty, oh. so pretty. So Clever. just a thought, like if you're doing a sweater and you want something different, when you get to the end, turn it backwards and, and just knit. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Purl round. It's real cute. So I don't know if I can, you can kind of, you know, you can probably not really see it, but. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see that. Sure. Yeah. So. <laughs> and that's what I got. Cute. So now we're moving on to our all time favorite Ooh. section. See, kind of interrupt all the time. Ooh. Batman. He's like. Fire in here. Clearly it's just a smoke show. <laughs> Batman. All right, so we'll go ahead and um, move to our favorite section, which hmm, might just include who just walked in the door. Ready? <laughs> He's don't, gone. Uh, don't tell my husband. Shh. All right. And maybe, maybe we should let Joyce go first. <laughs> no, he's still in the area. <laughs> okay, Irene, you go. All right. Well, I bought uh, this 100 years ago when I first began knitting. And the grocery girls were on. And they were promoting this yarn from River City Yarns over by their neck of the woods. And um, beautiful yarn never did anything with it. Isn't this like a shame? It's like, oh, gotta have this, that, or the other. Okay, so I've got- have lots of that. Pardon me? We all have lots of that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it just keeps piling up. But I wanna take care of that problem. And I bought this hedgehog fiber yarns, and this is called Macaroon, the colorway. Mm -hmm. And I think I'm gonna pair it with this and this, and it's gonna be one of those uh, color shifts. Ooh, so I think that's going to work because you know how it blends and stuff. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That will take care of that. So reduce the stash and yet buy some more. Okay. And um, then I bought this yarn, Lang Alpaca Socks, and I'm going to make the row by row sampler sock and then maybe uh, a sweater that has that pattern on it. So that's that. What else? Uh, oh, and then Joyce and I, do you have yours? Yeah. This be, will become a papillon or butterfly shawl. And we're doing this with Dawn of Frivolous and Frugal. Yeah. So um, Ready. Joyce has hers too, right? Yep. And then uh, lastly, dig this. Cones. Not that I have a sock machine. I am the sock machine. But I'll put this down on the floor and just start knitting socks. You, the that. value is unbelievable. So I think it's called CMS or something supply. And you get this cone with, I think it's something like 400 grams of uh, yarn on it, but um, very cost effects, effective, $26 for Ooh. each cone. Now, when you think about how costly sock yarn is, I think there's value in the dollar there. Yeah. If you're okay doing one at a time, I usually don't like to do that. I suppose I could unwind it and stuff, but I'll see how it goes. But I'm excited, especially because uh, the granddaughters just keep, that's all they talk about is rainbow color yarn. Do you yeah. have rainbow yeah. color yarn? Yeah. No, I don't, but now I do. So I have an idea for you. Yeah. Two at a time, you've got two different colors. Oh, 
So yes. knit one of each sock and then one of each sock. Angie, you're genius. That is so That's why cool. you keep me around. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> and Absolutely. Then time. They'll have to be the same size. Oh my time. gosh, I'm impressed with, with your ingenuity here. <laughs> Very good. Leave it to Angie, who does not <laughs> knit socks, but she does have good ideas. So thank you for that. Yeah, I like but that, I mean, I guess they'll have to be the same size. So, but you know, right? Hey. But that's okay. You know, yeah. I think generally now, I think I'm going to be making them bigger for these kids. Their feet are growing so fast that uh, it hurts me when I oh they outgrew the sock. Oh really? So uh, you know, the I mean, other thing is you'll know which sock is which. So you won't be, you know, you know, cause if you know what I'm saying, like, you know, some people, when they first start knitting two at a time socks, they, whoops, I ran into that other sock. You won't yeah. do that. Yeah, that is true. Yeah. Love it. Love it. I want to do that. <laughs> I found a notebook recently with all the kids feet that, when they were younger. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Memories. Yeah. Yeah, forgot I saved it. So yeah, that was fun. that's nice. I'm glad you did save it. Yeah, that was Thank fun. You. All right, that's all I've got. Okay, Joyce, what do you have? Well, as you three know, the last time we were at Betsy's or Elgin Networks, Carson discovered the pressed flower shawl. Yes. So Love that shawl. I am making that for her. So here's the pattern. That is so pretty. I love that shawl. So pretty. It's a little fussy to start, but once you get going. Yeah, she's very excited. So these are my, it's Barocco, it's covered up. Uh, tiramisu. Ooh, nice. And then oh my gosh, that's going to be beautiful. For sure. I don't know when she'll get it, yeah. <laughs> but I have it. Hey, really besides Christmas knitting, time to start Christmas knitting. Oh my gosh. I think about that. Last year I was so far ahead on the socks. I don't know what I'll be doing. Maybe hats this year, but there you go. right now I have an injury and knitting is just not something that you I have to be careful. Uh, you have to be careful. So that's all I got. Okay. Well, I have quite a bit, as you can imagine. <laughs> but before we start, I wanted to show Betsy had this in the shop when I was there the other day and I brought it because I wanted to show everybody. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Give me one second. Okay, so this is the yarn. It's Louisa Harding yarn. That's what it's made with. These are the colors she's got. Ooh. Oh, Dude. Ooh. Okay, okay. And the pattern is called. And you could also use that for that other sweater. The color. Oh yeah, right? yeah. Calliope. Oh, cute. Okay. And here it is. I'll just slip it on so you can see how cute it is. It's a cotton kind of yarn. Oh, nice. It's got those little. That's pretty. See the yeah. little butterflies? Can yeah. you see them? Yeah, very it's cute. That little butterfly. But how cute is that, right? Very cute. I'll just keep it on because it's really cute. But um, yeah, Calliope Cowlette, uh, Karina Spencer. God, she's got good patterns. Yeah, she does. Yes. And this yarn is, uh, it's Louisa Harding. It is, um, there's four different colorways. It's 52 cotton, 48 acrylic, uh, 284 yards. And you just need, um, I believe you just need one. Um, 332 of DK weight. Um, or 331, but I think she just used one. So, yeah, 284 yards. So anyway, super cute. Loved it. Wanted to bring it and show you because I thought it was darling. Okay, here goes the don't tell my husband. Okay, the four-day knit along, I think it's called Sail Away. No, I don't know anything about it. Okay, so that's the um, uh, uh, green. Uh, Murray one? Green. Mar yep, Murray Green pattern. So uh, my new school colors are blue, green, and gray. So, Ooh. Make that. The sweater will be the actual blue color, which we all love this color, uh, Matisse, and then the green, and then the gray will be the um, the stripes. Let me see if I have a picture here. Sure, I do. You can make it in DK weight, or you can make it in um, 
worsted. I have chosen worsted because I want to hang it on the back of my chair and have it look really cute. Anyway, it's called Sail Away. I don't have a picture. Um, and I have not even done my swatch yet, but that's that's that. I, <laughs> you know, I'm a sweat in it now. So, um, and you know how much I love that, um, oh gosh, what was it? The um, springboard. So I'm gonna make one white will be the background, but check it out. Oh, yay. That's gonna be the springboard part. That was a... Um, I also bought a skein of this because I absolutely loved it. Maybe because it's called uh, Gigi Loves Speckles and I am Gigi um, <laughs> as well. Oh, it's cute. Really they made this for. Um, so um, I got a skein of that. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. And this, there was only two left and I bought one. It's going to be May stitched together. Ooh. Oh, I like that. So yeah. I was thinking about making a, I'm already starting a second sweater that I haven't even finished the first one, that knit along, this with chocolate brown. Oh, purple. oh, yes. Right? So, and the piece de resistance. Oh, no. <laughs> Woo! So Betsy got a Tente bags. They came yesterday. I happened to be at the shop. I have been coveting this bag for so long. Um, I did do a sneak peek, which she showed online. These bags are so well made. They're handmade, each one of them. They have the little feet on the bottom. I mean, I they like yours great. with the plastic. Yeah, this one has the plastic. She also has this pattern in teal, uh, like a light teal with the birds. Um, and it has the, the plastic on it as well. Um, I think she has uh, two of those. So if you were interested in the birds, you want to call her right away. Um, she got a bunch of the great big ones and a bunch of the smaller ones that have the loop. Oh my God, they're so gorgeous. One was prettier than the next. I, I have been coveting this bag so long I had to buy it. So this is this this pattern is called um, Shirley Temple. Lovely. And um, the bag is the Bonnie. Um, and yeah. she does have the, the blue Shirley Temple. She also got some little notions bags, uh, three or four of them with the birds on them. So nice. anyway. So yeah, I spoiled myself a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Irene, you need some coffee. <sighs> okay. <laughs> coffee time. Coffee time. So I think that's it. Okay. Well, we all right, everybody. So um, I think that's it for episode 81. Goodness gracious, can't believe it. Um, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe, share us with your friends, join us at the um, Frivolous and Frugal. Oh, please, yes, that would be so awesome. Stop Even if you just stop in and for a couple of hours, or if you want to meet us. Or if you have to fly in for the weekend, hey. Yeah, yeah, that works for us too. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, we are really looking forward to it, hoping you will be there. Um, just want to say everybody be good, be good people, hug those babies. You know, yeah, yeah, hug your babies. Um, I think we all know what I'm talking about. And we uh, adore you. Thank you so much for joining us. Don't forget to answer that question so you could uh, win the, the <laughs> Queen Sandy, Sandy bag. bag. Yeah. And um, we will see you soon. Bye. 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 All righty. Are we ready? Yep. Just so you know, I have nothing finished. I don't either. So. Okay, good. Ready? Oh. Yep. One, <laughs> two, three. You're making me hungry. Sorry. I am hungry. <laughs> Ugh. Okay. I'm eating. Me too. <laughs> okay. So, well, let me take a swig. Let me wash down my rice cake. <laughs> rice cake. Blah. Caramel rice cake. Oh, okay. They're awesome. That's good. All right, I'm having goldfish, so. No. <laughs> Thanks, guys. That was close. 37 seconds to go. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Have a good day.